How Toyota Crushed Other Car Companies Hello and welcome back to MIA Luxury Cars. For today's video, we will be going to talk about how Toyota crushed other car companies. Let's go! Do you remember the 1980s? Toyota took an otherwise uninteresting two-door Corolla 11 and transformed it into the AE86. It's now a drifter's delight, thanks to Initial D's popularity, because of its classic and simple front engine right-wheel drive layout, any Joe Schmo could experience what it was like to be Keishi Tuchia behind the wheel. Yes, the AE86 was legendary, just like Keichi. And the new Toyota Corolla brings that exciting DNA from the 1980s into the 21st century. A fantastic 1.6-liter turbocharged, three-cylinder engine powers the little engine that could. A three-cylinder engine, yes, generating an increased 300 horsepower and 273 foot-pounds of torque. Toyota immediately won us over as fans because there's a lot to love, and it wasn't something we realized we needed until we saw it. The GR4 all-wheel drive system, which which provides three different power plays to the front and rear wheels stands out like a sore thumb. A shifter with a third pedal which is becoming increasingly rare these days. You have fender flares, massive brakes, and dual X-host, all in a small hot hashback package. You can now get the coat and coat base core trim or upgrade the Annie to the circuit edition, which is supposedly only available for the first year. Getting your hands on one of these things will be difficult, to say the least because the GR Corolla will start around 40 grands, with the circuit edition adding another 5 grands at 45, which honestly seems pretty reasonable given that the average new car price today is $47. Given that the average new car price today is $47,000. The issue is that the GR Corolla hot hatch will be in short supply all over the world. Toyota plans to build approximately 8,500 units in the first year of production, with approximately 6,600 of them going to the United States. That the majority of people are coming here is fantastic, but let's put things into perspective for a moment. The Civic Type R one of the GR Corolla's main competitors was introduced in 2017. In the last five model years, they've produced over 46,000 of them globally. Here's a 2017 article about the Civic Type R, and dealers were demanding prices up to $25,000, more than the cars' $35,000 MSRP. It's difficult to imagine Toyota producing anywhere near 46,000 CTRS that Honda did today. If you do the math, 46,000 divided by 8,600 equals about 5 model years for the GR Corolla to reach that number. It's difficult to imagine that this antiquated internal combustion platform won't have been replaced by some sort of EV replacement by then. Toyota is purposing the last of their tried-and-true technology that they've already developed, which is a much cheaper way to do it, and then they're just pushing the limits. The G16R GTS engine, for example, was plucked right out of the beautiful and ETBT Yaris GR. Yes, it's a little more beefed up, with over 22 pounds of boost on a street motor. But it's a Toyota, and it was designed to handle far more than that, so it'll be fine. We all know that this is the final hurrah for automakers pushing the limits of what internal combustion can do. Otherwise, 
why would we have a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 and BMW's coasting out 617 horsepower or a Hellcat engine with 702 horsepower and a Dodge pickup or a mind blowing? You know, the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever shoehorned into a production car. 670 horsepower from a natural aspirated V8 in a new Z06. Simply put, mass-produced EVs are what makes manufacturers money. This benefits their bottom line. Limited production, highly engaging cars aimed at the enthusiast. When you sleep back from all of this, you can see why Toyota GR Corolla surprised its competitors. Because no one believed them when they finally announced it. The ordinary Corolla, you see, is a perfect example of what you'd expect to see next to the definition of Toyota in the dictionary. They do have the Mark V Supra, but it was developed in collaboration with BMW. While Toyota collaborated with Subaru to create the FRS or BRZ, it's still not entirely Toyota DNA and a fun to drive sports car. The GR Corolla, on the other hand, has a 100 Toyota DNA and really shines a light on what Toyota stands for today. When you look at this tuner hat hatch, you can tell it was built by people you love or motorsports with a lot of inspiration taking from rally culture, including air dynamic design language, race-tuned suspension for the hard chest road conditions, and a manual parking brake to promote perfect power slides time after time. This was a car that was purposefully designed to make you smile. Gazi Racing raised the bar for everyone in the industry by demonstrating what they were truly capable of when they put their heart and soul into something. It was so unexpected that it was even constructed. And the fact that they were able to produce such a work of art, Toyota on the other hand is one manufacturer we wouldn't bet against creating something special out of nothing. After all, the Lexus LFA was created out of thin air and is one of the most misunderstood supercars ever built. So how did this episode influence you or make you love Toyota? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you in our next video.